it is time for DIY Friday, and today the idea bulb is burning bright. That's right. I have like a little Do you see it? Over my it's head. right about Bing, boop, there. Boop. It is Jan Hagerman <laughs> for the Twin Cities Habitat for Humanity Restore is with us. Uh, these are super cool. Good morning, yeah. happy Friday. It's great to have you here. So we've turned old light fixtures into new stuff mm -hmm. here before. Today right. we're turning old stuff into new light, new light fixtures. fixtures. Super Love it. cool. Lighting is probably one of the most expensive things out there. I don't know if you've shopped lighting. Oh, it's yeah. the worst. crazy. Yep. So you can get inexpensive lighting at the ReStore. Put this up above the bathroom sink, $15. Sure. Now, you want to make it fun? I've thought of taking three old china teacups. Mm. You, got, you, you need to be able to, to uh, drill a hole in them, yep. but drill a hole in them and replace the shades Cute. with the china I teacups. I love that idea. Very cool. Right? I like the globe, too. Oh, so you've seen the satellite pictures of the Earth at night. Oh, yeah. Bright lights here, mm -hmm. not so bright lights there. Take an old ceiling fixture. I'm going to take the shade off, drill some holes in here, plop it on there, and it's a night light when oh, it's not a glow. Cool. So I'm going to finish this one and bring it back on another segment, I think. I All love right. that idea. It came to me the other night. Very fun. 16, what is this? 16 millimeter film reels. Oh, look at those. You converted it so all. So many people have those sitting in a box in their attic. Exactly. You know, or, you know, Maybe you, you've turned it into a DVD mm -hmm. already. So what do you do with them? And it's kind of an homage to somebody who might like film. Yeah. So. Did That's you really just kind of, so did you make that yourself? You kind of just Actually, a friend of mine made this. Just thread it? it? Is, it's, a, it's a lamp kit that you can buy. Oh. Or you can take an old table lamp. It is a piece of this threaded rod. Okay. And you run those on run the wire in, put the socket up on top, Okay. put on a harp, which is what your lampshade hooks to, and there you go. Easy enough. It's really <laughs> like, a, like a little puzzle, putting a light Like Tinker together. Toys. Yeah, yeah not, exactly. Not All right, what is this? You ever see one of these on top of a garage? It's a ventilation oh. turbine. Oh, sure. right. right, okay. So we, again, ran the wire, took out the parts and pieces, ran the wire in, Put wow. the light bulb in. Jason, if you do the yeah, honors. Down here. This right. is so cool, especially in like kind of a warehousey loft type place. You oh, could do, I you love could do the, that. You could do the same with a, uh, an old metal watering can, um, yeah. an old uh, minnow bucket. You can do very cool. Anything that has uh, is like a container, you can do. A light Put fixture. This light in. Yeah. yeah. And Here. then was this just at the Habitat Restore? This was at the Habitat Restore. It was $15. Fine. Nice. And the parts and pieces from a lamp that was non functional, or, you know, five, ten dollars Yeah. All of a sudden, it's a $150 light fixture if Easily. you went out and bought it new. Now, the Restore has an original location, which is in New Brighton. But five. a new one just opened up. We did. 2700 Minnehaha Avenue South. They are always at that store looking for donations because we're just starting to get rolling. Oh, cool. But come and check us out. Perfect. Well, we Love have the information it. at WCCO.com slash links. The two locations, how you can donate, what kind of things they're looking for, how you can volunteer. A lot of volunteers keep the Habitat for Humanity Restore up and running. Jan, thanks for coming in. We really appreciate Thank it. You. Always enjoy A little inspiration for people's weekend. This is super cool.